The HemoPoint H2 hemoglobin testing system from Standbio Laboratory is both highly advanced and easy to use. This training program, along with the user's guide, will demonstrate the proper use of this system. Precise knowledge and attention to these operating instructions is required each time the photometer is used. Please review and follow the safety notes at the beginning of the user's guide. Remember to keep the photometer away from liquids and to allow the unit to reach room temperature before use if you are moving it from a cold environment to a warm one. Wait approximately one hour. Store the packaging material that came with your Hemopoint H2 for future use. The HemoPoint H2 system is intended for the quantitative determination of hemoglobin in whole blood of adults, infants, and children. It consists of a dedicated photometer and individual single-use microcuvettes filled with reagents. Using the microcuvette, a small amount of arterial, venous, or capillary blood is taken up by capillary action. The filled microcuvette is inserted into the HemoPoint H2 photometer. The color produced by the chemical reaction in the microcuvette is measured and the hemoglobin value is displayed. The microcuvettes are intended to be used only once and must be disposed of after use as potentially infectious waste in accordance with the current regulations applicable to your establishment. Before you set up the HemoPoint H2 unit, make sure the following items are present and undamaged. The photometer, the AC power adapter. You will also need the following additional items. These are required but are not included with the system. Latex gloves, sampling devices for capillary blood collection, a biohazardous waste container, alcohol swabs and gauze for cleaning the puncture site, HemoPoint H2 microcuvettes, and HemoPoint H2 hemoglobin controls. Select a suitable place for setting up the photometer, one that avoids direct sunlight, strong electromagnetic fields, ionizing radiation, heaters, open windows, ventilators, fans, air conditioners, and wet areas such as a sink. For first-time use, the unit's built-in battery must be charged for a minimum of 9 hours or overnight. Place the photometer on a level counter near a power socket. Plug in the supplied power adapter into the back of the unit and into the wall socket. After plugging in the unit, it may take 4 to 5 seconds before anything appears on the display while the unit initializes. If you're going to use the photometer at this location, make sure there is enough room for the cuvette holder to be freely accessible. Please note that the photometer can be operated on battery power alone after the battery has been charged, or it can be operated with the power adapter connected. Also note that the photometer does not have an on-off switch. The photometer automatically switches to battery power when the unit is unplugged, assuming that the battery is sufficiently charged. On a fully charged battery, the unit will operate for at least 100 hours. After the unit initializes, the Welcome Display screen appears briefly, followed by the Ready Mode screen, which indicates that the unit is ready to operate. If the photometer is not in use for some time, approximately 5 minutes, it switches into the Energy Saving Standby mode, and the screen goes blank. To switch the unit back on again, do one of the following. Touch the touch screen. Open or close the cuvette holder. Or plug the photometer into an electrical power supply. The micro cuvette is the most sensitive component of the HemoPoint H2 system. Please take care to handle the micro cuvette carefully and pay particular attention to the following conditions. The microcuvette is designed for single use, so each microcuvette can only be used once. The microcuvette is coated during manufacturing with all the reagents necessary for determining the hemoglobin concentration in the blood sample. 
As soon as the blood is taken into the microcuvette, a reaction occurs within three minutes. Normally, a test is completed between 30 and 45 seconds. The microcuvette is sensitive to moisture. To prevent the absorption of moisture, the microcuvettes are supplied in a special airtight container that contains a drying agent. This drying agent assures that any moisture is readily absorbed during storage. To preserve the integrity of the microcuvettes, please do the following. Store the microcuvettes only in the original container and at room temperature. Only remove one microcuvette at a time from the container and then immediately close the lid. Make sure that the lid is completely closed by pressing it down as far as it will go. Once opened, microcuvettes are stable for 90 days at room temperature. See the Hemopoint H2 microcuvette container label for additional information. Please make note of the date of opening on the container label. The microcuvette is a precision optical component. It is analyzed optically in the Hemopoint H2 photometer. The light from the light source should penetrate through the sample to the photodetector with the least possible influence from the microcuvette. Therefore, it is important not to touch the optical eye of the microcuvette with fingers or sharp objects. Also remember, the microcuvette is only designed for in vitro testing and the reagents that coat the inner walls are harmful and must not be swallowed. We will now demonstrate how to take a sample of capillary blood. Remember to wear suitable protective gloves. Take out a microcuvette from the original container and immediately close the lid. Make sure that your patient is sitting comfortably. There should be good blood circulation in the hand from which you wish to take blood. The hand should be warm and relaxed. If not, it can be warmed in warm water. Lightly massage the fingers to stimulate the circulation. Only use the middle or ring finger. The patient should not be wearing a ring on the finger used for sampling. Now, disinfect the puncture site and allow it to dry. Press lightly on the fingertip and puncture with a suitable sampling device on the side of the fingertip. Sticking the fingertip on the side is less painful and the blood flow is better. To ensure that there will be a spontaneous flow of blood, use a sampling device with a proper depth size. The recommended sampling depth size is 2.25 millimeters. Blot away the first drop of blood, then, if necessary, press gently once again to get a drop of blood which is large enough to fill the microcuvette completely. Avoid milking. Hold the tip of the microcuvette in the middle of the drop of blood and wait until the microcuvette is filled completely. Do not fill from the side because this could create air bubbles in the microcuvette optic window, creating an erroneous result. Make sure that the microcuvette cavity is completely filled and free of air bubbles, particularly in the optical eye area. Do not try to top off the microcuvette if it is not filled completely. Repeat the process with a new drop of blood and a new microcuvette. In order to avoid contamination of the cuvette holder, remove excess blood from the outside of the microcuvette by carefully wiping off with a gauze or lint-free tissue. Remember, do not remove any blood from the microcuvette cavity. The microcuvette sample can now be tested immediately or within 10 minutes. Do not test the microcuvette sample after 10 minutes. We will now demonstrate how to perform the test on the photometer. First, open the cuvette holder completely. The instrument will check the optical performance of the measuring system. This process takes approximately one to two seconds. Release the cuvette holder and do not touch it again until the process is finished and you hear the unit beep. Insert the appropriate patient microcuvette into the cuvette holder, making sure that the microcuvette is properly inserted into the holder. 
Push gently on the cuvette holder and it will close automatically. Do not force it. Make sure the cuvette holder closes completely. Otherwise, the micro cuvette will not be positioned correctly in the photometer and this will cause an incorrect result. After insertion, testing of the micro cuvette begins automatically. The testing time varies according to the hemoglobin concentration and can take between 10 seconds and 3 minutes to complete. When completed, you can then make note of the test results. Pressing the OK button is not absolutely necessary. It merely produces a confirmation of the result while the photometer changes to the ready mode display. The measured result is stored and can be recalled later from the memory data storage, which can hold up to 4,000 test results. If you have a printer connected, the current test results will be printed out automatically. After reviewing your results, open the cuvette holder and take out the used micro cuvette and dispose of properly. Keep the cuvette holder closed when the photometer is not in use. When the holder is opened, a new testing cycle is started and the photometer checks the optical performance of the measuring system and automatically becomes ready for a new micro cuvette to be inserted. If you do not want to perform another test, simply close the cuvette holder again. The test cycle will be canceled. Cleaning the housing and touchscreen is best accomplished with a lint-free cloth, lightly dampened with clean water. For more stubborn stains, a mild soap solution may be used. For disinfection, standard solutions can be used for surface disinfection, provided they do not contain alcohol or other solvents. The cuvette holder can be removed from the instrument for cleaning. Proceed as follows. 1. To safely clean the Hemopoint H2 photometer cuvette holder, disconnect the power adapter from the electrical connection before proceeding. 2. With the Hemopoint H2 in the ready mode, open the cuvette holder until you feel a resistance and the holder will not extend further. 3. Locate the silver pin on the left-hand side of the cuvette holder. 4. While depressing the silver pin with a pointed object, Slide the cuvette holder towards you and away from the Hemopoint H2. 5. The cuvette holder can now be cleaned with a mild soap solution. For disinfection, standard solvent-free preparations can be used. To replace the cuvette holder, simply push it in the correct position into the opening in the housing until it engages. Please wait until the cuvette holder is completely dry before replacing it. The optical unit is situated inside the photometer and has no direct contact with the cuvette. Therefore, no routine cleaning is needed. However, if blood samples do come into contact with the optical unit, cleaning can become necessary. If the measured maximum light intensity of the photometric light source no longer achieves the appropriate level required for testing, the Hemopoint H2 photometer will display one of the following error messages intensity too low, or dirty optics, use optics cleaner. The optical unit should be cleaned when either of the above messages are displayed. For cleaning the optical unit, the use of special Hemopoint H2 optics cleaner is recommended. The optics cleaner can be obtained through an authorized standby distributor. 1. To safely clean the Hemopoint H2 photometer optics, Disconnect the power adapter from the electrical connection before proceeding. 2. With the Hemopoint H2 in the ready mode, open the cuvette holder until you feel a resistance and the holder will not extend further. 3. Locate the silver pin on the left-hand side of the cuvette holder. 4. While depressing the silver pin with a pointed object, slide the cuvette holder towards you and away from the Hemopoint H2. 5. Remove the cleaner from the foil pouch. Check to be sure the pad is moist with cleaner. 6. Insert the cleaner slowly into the opening of the cuvette holder until you feel a smooth resistance. Slowly push the cleaner deeper into the opening until it stops. 7. Move the optics cleaner in an in and out motion for at least 5 times. 8. Remove the cleaner from the Hemopoint H2. If the used cleaner is discolored or dirty, 
Repeat the procedure using a new cleaner. 9. Dispose of all used cleaners as potentially infectious waste in accordance with the current regulations applicable to your establishment. 10. Clean and dry the cuvette holder. See the user's guide, maintenance section. Wait at least 15 minutes after cleaning to reinsert the cuvette holder into the Hemopoint H2. 11. Replace the cuvette holder, then reopen the Hemopoint H2 cuvette holder and ensure that the silver pin is locked in place. 12. Reset the Hemopoint H2 by turning the photometer over and pressing the reset button using a narrow object such as a ballpoint pen or a paper clip. This reset serves to return the photometer to its default settings without changing user-specific settings significantly. However, the settings for date, time, and contrast will have to be readjusted. The Hemopoint H2 photometer is now ready to operate.